Hi there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in and as the title mentions I want to quickly talk about the KT tape uh, which you know which I kind of used this time for avoiding any bruises or rubbing of my brand new hiking boot so as I mentioned in my couple of other videos the low was zephyrs they were they are kind of still in break, uh, break in period and they were rubbing against my feet on in a couple of places like on this one and right here so in the past i tried a couple of band-aids and cotton tapes as such which were which i failed miserably and i still ended up having a lot of pain in my legs after a long hike so this time i wanted to try the KT tape which is the professional KT tape I might have the box bundle somewhere here uh, not sure where I put the KT tape bundle I will probably show it to you guys after I find it and uh, yeah I just returned from a 8 day road trip basically hiking and, and uh, camping and I've had the KT tape for about 4 days now and over 20 miles of hiking uh, some of wet conditions where it definitely got wet as well and it stayed on for 4 days you know it kind of stayed perfectly on my skin wherever exactly on the same place I put it I just came back from a shower I had a shower I was in the shower for a long time and uh, I wanted to see if it would stay on even after shower but as you can see it kind of giving up on few places like especially on the ball of the foot probably it's because this is where it's the foot is the skin is kind of you know, smooth and hard so it is giving up right there but on the top it still is staying perfectly uh, they do claim that I think I've definitely seen a few videos from K of KT tape where they claim that the tape stays on even when it comes in contact with water or sweat and it did to a certain extent I mean it did for four days and uh, uh, come on uh, uh, we don't get to have shower like every day in the forest right when we are up and hiking so i would say they it definitely stayed on but when i had shower today pretty really long shower it kind of is giving up oh okay it does pull out some of my hair too <laughs> okay uh, that's kind of point to note to note and um, any band-aid or anything would uh, do that and it's kind of coming up easily after the shower so i just wanted to see that if there is any itching or would it pull any of my air but it did come up pretty easily after the shower so uh, yeah i don't know if i would still recommend this product uh, because it's a 20 dollar product for about like 40 tapes or so i believe and uh, I it definitely did the job and you know, it kind of prevented all the rubbing or any bruises as such uh, when I was wearing the boots and I was hiking but if it comes in contact with water and maybe water and soap because I was in the shower I was having soap all over it now so maybe if it comes in contact with water and soap it might give up so uh, yeah, let's pull out this one too. I think uh, if you see, it is also giving up on uh, uh, on the ball of the foot, foot especially. But on the top side, it still stays. After 25 miles of hiking, it stayed there, didn't move anywhere. I've seen, I've I've tried with bandaid a couple of times, and I've seen bandaid that I put here goes up somewhere, ends up somewhere here after a few miles of hike so that i wouldn't recommend that at all but uh, this yes it definitely stayed and it did the job that is to prevent the rubbing and the pain from the new boots and prevent any blisters 
I don't know if uh, people really use this for you know uh, IK preventing bruises and blisters while hiking but I just wanted to try them so they definitely did the trick for me and I was wearing them with uh, you know a couple of cheap uh, liner socks one dollar socks from Dollar Tree and uh, again wool blended merino, merino wool blended socks from Walmart so uh, yeah my feet feels really great I don't have any bruises rashes or you know pain from rubbing I definitely did over 20 miles of hiking with the tapes on and uh, I don't have any problems I would still go ahead and tell you that to try it at your own risk because it's a costly product it's not like you know five or six dollars so and uh, like you saw it definitely gave up when it came in contact with water and so when in shower so if you still want to try it to prevent blisters or bruises while hiking I would still say go ahead and try it give it a try uh, it comes in uh, I think packs of four as well I believe I got a roll that's about like twenty dollars so uh, yeah if you want to try it go ahead and try it I would still you know recommend it to a certain extent and uh, yeah like I said uh, I don't get paid by Katie Tape or anybody else to <laughs> give you this opinion it's just my opinion after trying them on for four days after hiking with them on for over 20 miles this is what I think they are they might be worth and um, yeah just go ahead and give it a try if you like it it's well and good I might try them in my future trip because I have a lot of uh, tape left still with me I might have this roll somewhere here let me try and find it Okay, here's the one. Okay, this is the one. No, the roll that I got. It's actually 20 strips, and this one is called KT Tape Pro, which costs like twenty dollars for this roll. So it's definitely not cheap, but it did the trick for me. It prevented the rubbing from my new boots, which was really painful in the last couple of encounters, a like couple of hikes that I wore them without this KT tape so yeah uh, go ahead and try it and if you like it it's well and worth it and uh, do like my video and uh, share your thoughts share your experiences and stay tuned I might probably post a few more with such videos on hiking camping gear and few other things that I used uh, like always, this is Eklavia here and uh, the amateur photographer who is now a avid traveler as well. <laughs> please do share and please do subscribe to my channel guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a good day.